Proverbs 18, 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this powerful word. Father, we repent of anything that we thought about that was not of you, because whatever we say from our mouths comes, Father, from our hearts. And so, Lord, I pray that you'll please forgive us of speaking negativity, entertaining negative thoughts. Father, we choose today to speak life, to decree and declare a thing, and it shall be established. Father, we speak life. We speak your word. Father God, we hide your word in our hearts so that we will not sin against you in the name of Jesus. Father God, begin to renew our minds. Renew the right spirit within us, Father. Take away every frustration. Take away all bitterness, Father God. Uproot anything that's in our hearts that's not of you. And Father, we plant the seed of your word. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of our tongues. And Father, you said, they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. We will no longer eat evil fruit. We will no longer be like Adam and Eve. We will not bite into the forbidden fruit, Lord. We eat from the tree of life. Father God, we meditate upon your word day and night. And we are your oaks of righteousness, Father God. Planted by the riverbanks of your word. We speak words of love. We speak words of peace. We speak words of healing. In the name of Jesus, we speak your truth. Lord, I thank you that we speak of what you are doing and not what the enemy is doing. Father God, I thank you that when we speak your word, your angels, they go on assignment to fulfill your word. And so, Lord, I cover this prayer with the blood. And I thank you, Abba, that from this day forward, we're going to speak your word and eat the beautiful fruit thereof. We're going to see the manifestation of your word because your angels are ministering to us. Your warrior angels, your ministering angels. Father God, we are protected. I thank you that all things are working together for our good. Lord, I thank you for giving us new strength right now as we put on the whole armor and cover ourselves with the blood. We renew our minds with your word. We are transformed by the renewal of our minds, Father God. We have the mind of Christ. And so we speak like Jesus. We walk in power, authority, and dominion. We trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the devil and nothing shall by any means hurt us. We hold up the shield of faith. We hold up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We buckle the belt of truth around our DNA. We put on the gospel shoes of peace and we trample on wickedness. We pray for all the saints. Father God, I thank you that we have on the breastplate of righteousness and we have on the helmet of salvation. We are armored up today and we know that no weapon formed against us will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we condemn. In the name of Jesus, we are the head and not the tail, above only and never beneath. Father, you said to call upon you and you will answer us and you will show us great and mighty things, great and mighty things that we don't even know. And so, Father God, we call upon you. We press in like the woman who used to have an issue of blood in the name of Jesus and we receive our healing now. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise your holy name. Father, like the Canaanite mother, we come to you. In the name of Jesus. We come crying out to you right now, Lord. Like in the book of Matthew 15. The mother came crying out to, crying out to Jesus on behalf of her daughter. And Father God, she cried out. She said, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon possessed and suffering terribly. But in verse 23, 
The Bible said Jesus did not answer a word. And the disciples, they came to him and they urged him to send her away because she, she kept on crying out after them. And so Jesus ignored her and the disciples rejected her. And then finally, Jesus said, I was sent only. I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. In other words, I was not sent to you. But this woman did not care because she had a need and she knew that Jesus can meet the need. And so she came and she humbled herself and she knelt down before him and she said, Lord, help me. And then Jesus replied in verse 26, it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. And so he was saying, we don't give the, the dogs, our pets, our, our food the main part of the food, like we don't give them the best part. And, you know, perhaps he was, you know, insinuating that she was a dog and it didn't matter because she was so persistent and she knew she needed a miracle for her daughter. And so she said, yes, it is Lord. It is right. Because even the dogs eat the crumbs from the master's table. And so she was willing to humble herself, even though she was being ignored. She was willing to humble herself, even though there was a reference to the dogs. She said, yes, it is right. She knew Christ came to help because she saw him helping others. And she was willing to humble herself to get a portion for her daughter. And she said, yes, it is, Lord. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. And as God's sons and daughters, we know we're not dogs. We know we don't eat crumbs. He has prepared a table before us in the presence of our enemies. But I'm just amazed at this woman's persistency. And humility, she was humble. And so, Father, we humble ourselves before you. You said, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. For in due season, Father, you will exalt us. And so, Father God, like the Canaanite mother, we come to you. We come boldly to your throne of grace and mercy bringing our issues to you, interceding for others, praying for ourselves. Lord, son of David, have mercy on us, on those who are sick, those who are at rock bottom, those who are overwhelmed, those who are going through parental issues, marital issues, financial issues. Lord, son of David, have mercy on us. And we will not stop, oh God. We touch the hem of the garment of Jesus. We humble ourselves like the woman who used to have an issue of blood. She didn't feel worthy to touch Jesus' body, but she was willing to touch the hem of his garment. And so, Lord, we humble ourselves right now. And we cry out. We cry out. In the pain, through the rejection, through the brokenness, the weariness, the frustration. Father God, you said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Behold, I do a new thing. It's springing up. Don't you perceive it? I'm making a way for you in the wilderness. Lord, we come to you and we cry out, Lord, son of David. Have mercy on me. Father, we lift up our families to you. We're asking for salvation. We're asking for revival. We speak to the valley of dry bones. Come breath and breathe upon these slain. And Lord, we stand up on our feet as a vast army for you, oh God. Because you fight the battles for us. We are your end time warriors. We are your battle and ram, your battle axe, your weapons of war. And so Lord, we come right now. We bow down in the name of Jesus. And Father God, like a dog that's humble, like the birds 
who cannot take care of themselves. We come to you, Abba, with our hands lifted up, asking for mercy, receiving your grace at your throne of grace and mercy at your supreme courts of heaven, where you are giving us justice. Lord, we lift up holy hands to receive justice, to receive your mercy, to receive your strength, your joy, your peace. Father, I thank you that you are showing up immediately to help those who've been crying out to you, Father God. Jesus was testing her faith. And because of her persistency, she said, yes, it is, Lord. It's right to take the children's bread and give it to a dog like me. She humbled herself. And Jesus said to her, woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that moment. And so, Lord, I thank you that we have great faith to come to you right now, oh God, to cast our cares on you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We have great faith because we know without faith it is impossible to please you because they that come to you must first believe that you exist and that you are a reward of those who diligently seek you, oh God. And I thank you because of our faith. The mountains are moved, whatever the mountain has been. It moves now and is cast into the sea. Whatever the mountain is, the mountain of fear, poverty, negativity, suicidal thoughts, depression, addiction, the mountain is removed, pulverized with the fiery hammer of your word. The marital strife, the parental strife, the confusion, the division, the backwardness, the shame, the rejection, the sicknesses, the infirmities, the witchcraft, they're bound and cast out. Those mountains are pulverized, but we mount up our wings as eagles. Lord, I thank you that it's the effectual fervent praise of a righteous man that avail it much. And you've heard us. And Lord, I thank you that you answer by fire. The God who answers by fire, Yahweh, you are God. You are omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient, Lord. You are Yahweh Nisi, the Lord God, our victory better. And so we come today, oh God, asking for help. You are a very present help in the time of need, oh God. Your word will not return back unto you void, but it will be accomplished. Lord, I thank you that you hasten your word to perform your word, oh God. You've anointed our heads with oil, our cups are running over. You have prepared a table before us in the presence of our enemies. I thank you that you've given us all that we need, oh God. We have life and life more abundantly. By the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. We have power, authority, and dominion. We have the keys of the kingdom of God. We climb the sycamore fig tree, oh God, like Zacchaeus, to see Jesus. Father, I thank you that you are a way maker. You are amazing the same way the fig needs, Father, help to be pollinated, Father God, to be fertilized. And you send a wasp to enter the fig to pollinate it, Father, I thank you that you are doing the impossible, Father, in our lives, oh God. You're doing an inner work, oh God. The wasp goes inside the fig, Father God, and create the fruit, to create the flowers, oh God, on the inside. And Lord, we're asking that you would come inside of our hearts, oh God, the hearts of our spouses, our children, our relatives, the body of Christ, and that you would transform us inside out, that you renew the right spirit within us, oh God, that we will be filled up with the Holy Spirit, that we will have your heart, Father God, that we will have your word inside of us in the name of Jesus, Father, that, that we will be fruitful and that we will multiply in your will, Father God, that we will be your flowers in the earth, oh God. We are your figs, we, Father, I thank you that wherever the figs
thing is mentioned in the Bible, oh God, it's most likely talking about the promised land. It's talk about your people. Father, we are your people. We are your children. It's talking about healing, oh God. We put the fig paste on the boils of our situation like Hezekiah and we are healed. We recover it all. We are recovered. We are restored in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you that we would no longer cover ourselves with fig leaves. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We would no longer dabble in sin. We would no longer be rebellious like Adam and Eve. We say yes to your will and yes to your ways. Father, we humble ourselves like the Canaanite mother, oh God, and we press in to get a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for the bread of life. Lord, I thank you that we eat the bread of life, Jesus. Father, God, I thank you that we eat the word, the living word, and we live life and life more abundantly. There's no more crumbs. Father, I thank you that we have a, a whole harvest, Father. We have the whole farm, oh God. We're in the garden, garden of Eden, that place of delight. We don't have to beg. The righteous are never forsaken and their seed will never beg for bread. In the name of Jesus, we stand beneath the open heavens and the blessings are overtaking us. The blessings of Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14. And we stand on Jeremiah 29, 10 to 14. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for Jeremiah chapter 29, Father God. Starting at verse 10. Father, your word is powerful and it will be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. The book of Jeremiah, Father, speaks of restoration. And Lord, I thank you that you're turning our captivity like you did for Job. And you're doing it immediately. Father, you said when the 70 years are completed for Babylon... I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back from captivity i will gather you from all the nations and places where i have banished you declares the lord and i will bring you back to the place from which i carried you into exile and lord i thank you that this prayer is for my children my bloodline my husband the body of christ lord i thank you that we have hope in the future I thank you, O oh God, that we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness and all that we need is being added unto us right now in the name of Jesus because we seek you, O oh God, with all of our hearts. Our children, they seek you with all of their hearts. Father, we have found you. We have found the one who created us in his image, the one who loves us ever, with an eternal, everlasting love. I thank you, O oh God, for bringing us back to you. To that place of purpose and promise, oh God. That place of deliverance and breakthrough and birth through Ephatha in the name of Jesus. I pull up, I pull our promises to us now from the spiritual realm to this realm. I pull the blessings to us right now in the name of Jesus. We break through, we advance, and we enter the promised land. A land flowing with milk and honey. Pomegranate, figs, clustered grapes. Lord, I thank you that we possess the land. I thank you, O oh God, that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And we have repossessed our possessions times a thousand. Father, increase us a thousand times for your glory. Increase our strength, our joy, shalom, peace. We are whole, we are well. Give us double, double, double for our shame, oh God. Lord, I thank you for miracle signs and wonders overtaking us now. Bless doors open up for us, oh God. I bind every wickedness and cast them out. Father, I bind the python spirit that's been trying to choke out the body of Christ. I bind it and cast it out into the abyss, the witchcraft. I bind you and cast you out, but I release the Holy Ghost upon us. In the name of Jesus. 
I crush the serpent. I trample on serpents and scorpions. We will not die, but live to declare the works of the living God. And so I trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the devil and nothing shall by any means hurt us or our tribe in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your holy name. This prayer is covered with the blood. This day is covered with the blood. This month, this the rest of this year is covered with the blood. 2023 is going to be covered with the blood. Lord, I thank you that the good phone calls are coming now. The good emails. We see advancement. We see productivity. We see prosperity. We see souls being saved. Father, we see the million, multi-millionaire status that you've given to us. We are the children of Abraham and his blessings belong to us. We receive it now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We're not going to beg for bread. The righteous are never forsaken and their seed will never beg for bread. Our children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be their peace. I cover our marriages with the blood of Jesus. Those who God has joined together, let nobody put asunder. We will not beg. Our accounts are no longer negative. I speak immediate overflow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Promotion, advancement. Father God, give us the top portion in sales. Send us godly, faithful clients and customers, oh God. Father, send godly, divine destiny helpers in the name of Jesus. And I cover this prayer. Cover it, oh God, with the blood. I thank you, oh God, for restoring love, 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 love into the hearts. Love, 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 love between husbands and wives. Honor and respect for, for children and the parents. Lord, I thank you. Salvation is here, like Zacchaeus. Christ came to seek and to save the lost. Father, save our households, save our neighborhoods, protect us, oh God. I cover our neighborhoods, I cover our homes, I cover the vehicles, I cover, Father God. We repent on behalf of the nations, oh God. Father, establish your Josephs, your Daniels, oh God, your Esthers, your Mordecais, your Moses, in the government, in the judicial system, in the, in the courts, in the schools, in the police force, Father God. Establish your will. Position your people, oh God, to bring wise counsel, Father. We ask for more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father, open up our minds. Show us what to do, what not to do, Lord. We break the chains off of us. We destroy the yokes of bondage. And we spread our wings, oh God, and we soar for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, oh God, for your shalom peace. I thank you, oh God. I thank you. Thank you, oh God. I thank you, oh God. As the dogs are faithful to their owners, Father, we're faithful to you. They don't worry about anything. And Father, we don't worry about anything because you're going to take care of us. You're going to take care of us, oh God. You meet the needs because you're a good father. And if we know how to give good gifts to our children and to others, Father God, you will do even better. You always do better. You always do greater, Father God. We're asking for miracle signs and wonders, oh God, to take place now. Hallelujah, Lord, wow us today, wow us today, wow us today, oh God. Like David at Ziglag, Father, when it was burnt down and his family's friends were kidnapped. Father, he asked you, should I, should I go? Should I pursue? And you said, pursue, for you shall recover in all I decree and declare that we advance in the name of the Lord. And we have recovered in all what was stolen from us. The enemy has been caught. The thief has been caught. He must give us back seven times what he has stolen from us in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your holy name. We 
We possess our families. We possess our ministries. We possess our financial status, oh God. We repossess our positions. We repossess our positions. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.